So the trailer just dropped for the PC Ghostbusters reboot, remake, whatever you want to call it, that nobody wanted! So before I go on with this review, I just want to like clarify something. Like there are two people that hate this movie that's coming out. The first group is that like the people that hate it because it's an insult to Ghostbusters and the memory of Harold Ramis. The other group that hates it are the sexist dicks that hate it just because it's an all-female cast. I hate it for a little bit of both, but let me elaborate on that so I don't offend, like, the only two female subscribers I have. So first off, let's go over the trailer. The trailer, like, shows us, like, you know, that they're, you know, pretty much just remaking the first Ghostbusters movie. It starts out with saying by, like, 30 years ago, like, four scientists saved New York, which shows us that, like... Uh, they're acknowledging, like, this is really confusing me, because, like, are they acknowledging the first two movies, or is this just a complete reboot? Because I heard that, like, the original characters, the cast members, Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray and all them, are just cameoing in the movie. They're not, like, this isn't connected to the originals, this is an actual reboot, so that makes it seem like that those bastards in the marketing for this movie just did that to get these Ghostbusters fans in thinking, oh, maybe that they will acknowledge the other movie. So, sons of bitches. <sighs> so, yeah, they show that, and then they show that, like, this movie actually is a reboot because they're, like, you know, making the Ghostbusters mobile or whatever it's called, and they're, like, kind of starting over, and then they show the library scene from the first movie being remade with these new characters. So, I don't think this movie knows what it wants to be. So, f like, with the cast members, I know nothing about them except for Melissa McCarthy. That's, like, the only one I know. And, like, she has, like, th this is the thing that kind of pisses me off. Is that, like, watching her in this trailer and the rest of them are just, like, them just being, you know, generic characters. Cookie cutter. Like, there's this, like, it's just Melissa McCarthy being Melissa McCarthy. Not to say that, like, Bill Murray just wasn't being Bill Murray in the other movies, but they had a lot of character in those movies, and they had big personalities, and that's why we love the movie. So that's why, like, they really gotta try to up that in this movie, and I can already tell they probably failed on it. I'm not trying to, like, you know, judge a book by its cover on this movie. I'm, like, I'm hoping that it's not as bad as this trailer made it look, but... From the way it's going, yeah, it looks like it, it might be that bad. Oh, jeez. This movie does really feel like, like, it's just pointless in existing. This is the reason, like, I'm going to go in right now why I really just don't like this movie at all. But, like, like I said, just keep it open mind. Hopefully it's not as bad as it seems like it is. But the reason why I'm even mad that they're making this movie is, for one, it's an insult to Harold Ramis' memory. Like, why would you do that after, you know, he's passed away, you know, because I gave up on a Ghostbusters 3 once, you know, they started getting, you know, once they were old. I figured, like, we're never going to get a Ghostbusters 3 at this point. It's best to just leave well enough alone. And then after Harold Ramis passed away, I didn't want another one. I was like, then that's it. You know, you, he's such an essential part of the Ghostbusters lore that you don't want him, you know, you don't want to just step on his memory like this movie seems like they're doing. This movie feels like it's just a cash grab because, like, you know, well, not saying that, like, not all movies are just cash grabs nowadays, but it feels like they're just like, you know, oh, like, we know you guys want a Ghostbusters movie, so here, we're giving you a Ghostbusters movie. It's just not the one any of you guys wanted. That's what really bothers me about it. It's just like, well, well you know, I... I mean, I'll, I'm going to go see it so I can give you guys a review of it, but, you know, do I want to? Not really. This is going to be one of those movies where it feels like YouTube is kind of like work. <laughs> oh, jeez. One of those movies. Also, like, the movie feels like the fact that, like, it's an all-female cast. I know some people are pissed off about it saying they're just like, oh, it's political correctness and everything. You can see they're just trying to make an agenda out of it. And you really do feel that, that this is just, like, an agenda of, you know, trying to push this, the whole PC thing. Like, you know, you know, watch South Park. They explain, you know, the whole PC thing pretty well. But the whole thing with that is just, like, I try not to read too much into that because I love strong female characters, you know, and everything. You know, I do. I mean, like, Wonder Woman's one of my favorite characters. I love that, you know. I love characters like that. I mean, look at Princess Leia. She's one of the best characters. Or Horror from Star Trek. You know, so, like, I'm not against strong female characters that can pull their weight. But it does feel like, yeah, yeah, they are kind of trying to push that. I was, I'm for an all-female Ghostbusters if it was, like, the original Ghostbusters maybe passing the torch down to this new team, you know and actually including them in the story, like actually making, oh, I don't know, Ghostbusters 3 instead of just rebooting, which it seems like to be the new thing nowadays is to just reboot everything, which can be good and can be bad. In this case, it's bad. 
I've never seen a movie trailer get so much hate though off the bat. I mean, I mean, holy crap, look at those stats on YouTube. Man, people are already really like ripping this movie a new one. And like I said, I'm going to try to like, you know, be optimistic like with Batman v Superman. Like, hope it's good or does at least, at the very least, just hope it doesn't suck as bad as it could. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the movie, you know. Have you seen, you know, the Ghostbusters trailer, you know? Let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. You know, as always, if you like what you see, go and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.